Howdy folks. Today I got something that brings together a few different elements that I've been interested in lately. One is pineapple, the other's pisco, and the third is burr. It's a pisco punch. Let's go. Now, first off, I made pineapple gom syrup. I wanna show you all what I did. There's a couple of different methods you could use to make pineapple gom, but what I was doing was cutting up a pineapple so I could eat it on some lehi mui powder. I was gonna say, it is delicious. And I don't like to waste the skins or the core, so what I, what I like to do is put that into a container with some sugar and make a pineapple syrup with a sort of oleo, you know, no heat method. You just put them in a container, cover them with sugar, and in a day or two, the sugar will suck all the liquid out of the pineapples and give you a nice sort of pineapple-y syrup. So when the syrup was done, I just hydrated 25 grams of acacia powder with 25 grams of water. You let that sit overnight, it'll hydrate and turn into a liquid at least, uh, and you won't get any clumps. Then I just added that to the pineapple syrup and gave it a whisk. And there you have pineapple gom. No problem. I actually could have used more gom if you want. It's sort of up to you how much gom to put in, how thick you want it. You could probably put in twice as much as I did and it would still be fine. Now I've been interested in pisco lately. Um, so naturally I wanted to make a pisco punch. Now this is a semi-famous cocktail from the 1850s from a bar called the Bank Exchange Saloon, which was in the Bank Exchange Building in San Francisco. I'm learning all this from a book I was gifted recently called Drinking the Devil's Acre. It's by a fella named Duggan McDonnell. Here's a recipe in the book for the Pisco Punch that differs somewhat from ones that you might find online, including like the David Wondrich one. Those usually call for Pisco, lemon, and pineapple syrup or pineapple juice. Uh, this doesn't sound that exciting, and I was excited. I was happy to see a more interesting recipe in the book because this one also calls for aromatized wine, uh, like a Kina Kina style red wine, um, sort of like a um, Lille Rouge or a Coqui Americana Rosa. Uh, Cap Course makes a red one that's a Kina Kina, but I'm going to use Burr. So now his recipe calls for this apparently because this guy, Doug and McDonald, um, had a bottle of the original Pisco Punch uh, still sealed up. Um, that had like a reddish color and he thought there probably was some sort of aromatized wine in there. Turns out there's the stuff called Vin Mariani, which was popular at the time. Uh, it was an aromatized red wine, but it also had cocoa leaves in it. Now, putting cocoa leaves in your beverages is uh, completely illegal at this point. Um, you know, they, they made it illegal because cocaine causes all kinds of problems. Anyway, this might explain why this drink was so popular. People were getting high off the cocaine. So since we can't get Vin Mariani anymore. We're gonna use burr. It's a kina kina, so it is bittered with chinchona bark. No cocoa leaves. Now, if you can't get burr, you could definitely use Dubonnet or Lille Rouge or Coqui Rosa, something like that. I think I will do a video uh, sometime in the future about burr, sometimes called beer, because it's pretty interesting stuff. I just opened this bottle and I'm sure we can find some more stuff to do with it. But for now, let's mix up this Pisco Punch. <laughs> Let's see how this turned out. It's got a nice reddish pink color, I like that. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. First thing you get up front is pisco. It moves right into the pineapple. Mm. And then you get a little bitter aftertaste from the from the burr. Oh my gosh. 
This is really good. Pineapple, the lime is sort of a background element, but oh my, this is really delicious. Um, I, I, I can heartily recommend this drink. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm speechless. It's, it's tart, it's a tart, it's a little, it's boozy. It's a little bit bitter on the aftertaste, but the like pineapples brings this nice sweetness right in the middle. Oh man, I really like that a lot. Now, a couple things. First of all, he called for an ounce of lime juice and I only did three quarters because when I had made it originally, I just thought it was a little too tart and so I backed that off a little bit. Also, I'm using my Quebranta Pisco for this. Uh, I was using Achillado before and that worked fine. That was good. I just thought I would give this a try and see how it is. And you know what? It's delicious. Yeah, so in conclusion, this drink is great. Uh, you should definitely make it. Pineapple gom, really not that hard. And if you don't want to do the gom part, you can just make pineapple syrup. It's practically the same thing. If you want to learn more about Pisco, I got some other Pisco videos you can check out. Uh, if you want to learn more about burr, stay tuned, maybe subscribe. I'll get to that soon. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.